I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone. seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. But he comes to them all, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Precious to you. 
Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Balder stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. What you thought if these trials mean nothing? with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men be. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons.
Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. I cannot understand your darkness. You cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world. You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. 